uh, and again, excited to have Sherry on the program today and uh, looking forward to uh, this next interview that uh, Hit Lab's own Rachel Fredman will be doing with Sherry about the book and about her work. And so handing the virtual lecture over to Rachel Fredman. Rachel. Thank you, Stan. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I have here with me Sherry Duville, the CEO of Metagram and author of best-selling book, Mobile Medicine. Um, Sherry, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Rachel, Jerry, and Stan. Are you guys able to see me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, we're, we're here to bring the fun, right? So congratulations okay. to all the winners so far. Um, and, as Rachel mentioned, I am Sherry Duville, CEO and board member at Metagram. Uh, the mobile medicine company. I'm here today also in my role as editor, uh, author, and speaker for mobile medicine. I'm honored to participate in the healthcare industry's defining multi-sector roundtables and conferences. I'm co-author of three books, uh, several articles, and technical papers, including this book we're giving away today, Mobile Medicine, Overcoming People, Culture, and Governance. In my drive to push the field forward, I also co-chair the IEEE UL Technical Trust Standard Project uh, for Clinical IoT and Medicine. Uh, I also advise organizations like the Top Enterprise Tech Accelerator uh, and lecture, including for Santa Clara University's corporate board readiness programs. At Metagram, we built the team and the patented technology and unique implementation model uh, to allow physicians to communicate quickly and securely wherever they are, uh, even when no other apps work on mobile. So most people that don't do their work in hospitals or clinics um, on their feet all day, like doctors and uh, nurses, um, like for example, administrators that might sit at a stationary desk, uh, they typically don't realize how much trouble mainstream apps create for physicians and how they often just don't work uh, with mobile devices and apps uh, that were mostly never built for the clinical environment. Um, at Metagram, uh, we're going after solving uh, a leading cause of preventable death, a delay in information, uh, to save hundreds of thousands of lives and delay disability for millions more while helping health systems be more financially successful. Uh, we published our data in the Journal of Hospital Medicine, and we're honored to have built the kind of multidisciplinary team of medicine, security, technologists, procurement specialists, and business that you really need, I think, uh, for success in this field. So, sounds, sounds great. Thank you, Sherry. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about your book today. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about why, what your impetus was for writing the book and what, what drove you to write on this topic? Yeah, thank you, Rachel. So today, a leading cause of preventable death is still a delay in information, according to the esteemed Institute for Healthcare Improvement. Uh, that's one life lost every nine minutes. Uh, there are also tremendous efficiencies uh, to be driven from mobile com computing, which is scarce in medicine. So while the medical industry isn't unique in low adoption of mobile technologies in the enterprise setting, it really has uh, the most the to gain, right? Um, but the, the challenge is that you have to have multidisciplinary expertise um, to meet really what's complex and, and also critical um, it requires advanced technology, advanced privacy, and advanced security, uh, together with attention paid to new areas that, that I, I'm happy to hear some of the other panelists mention, uh, which include people, culture, governance, and change management. Um, this is required uh, in order to really deliver results to patients and their families, uh, clinicians, and other stakeholders that are essential to mobile computing and medicine. Uh, so we were really fortunate. Uh, we partnered with the top U.S. academic book publisher uh, who publishes scholarship and thought leadership in STEM, uh, Taylor and Francis, they're also known as CRC Press, uh, and thrilled to provide really this definitive 360 degree leadership guide uh, to mobilizing medicine and it's 20 seven co-authors of mobile technologists, security experts, health system leaders, um, innovators, uh, security uh, experts, research scientists, human capital, and physician educators who are all um, champions of innovation in medicine. All right. Um, and what would you say the key ingredients are to 
successful health tech implementation, given that that's what everyone's talking about today. Um, I know that you talk about some of these in your book. So if you could just share. Yeah, so the, there's a vendor side and the health system side. Um, so I can um, speak on behalf of the vendor side that I, I really believe that you have to have this integrated cross-functional IT, medicine, engineering, legal, informatics product, um, and really finance and business team members um, with life sciences procurement experience. Um, and that's so that the team can tackle the challenges, the clinical challenges and the business challenges and the workflow challenges. Um, and, and then you can really drive clinical outcomes um, and quality with financial success, which is really what stakeholders want, right? Um, so on the health system side, um, I think, um, you know, the team on the, on the health system side really needs to be ready um, and have a process to interface with these essential functions. Um, and that's what we really, we really focus on on the book. Um, at, and then also at our company, Metagram, we're inspired by our values of uh, treating each other with respect, um, building respect and driving innovation. And we want those values to be widely permeated uh, throughout the industry. Um, and, and that we want, we have to make sure that we do it in a way um, that alleviates instead of adds to burnout. Um, and in my mind, that means doing it very thoughtfully and very intentionally and strategically in a cross-functional way. All right. And I know in your book, you also talk about some of the challenges, um, specifically the, the legal and the um, administrative challenges in terms of healthcare adoption, um, health tech adoption. Can you uh, share some of those? Uh, sure. So there, there are numerous challenges, and I'm so glad to see so many smart people tackling them here at the symposium. Uh, and, and we were very fortunate that we had two of the top uh, national healthcare privacy lawyers, uh, Peter McLaughlin and Lucia Savage, uh, work on the book. Uh, Lucia's had you know, decades of influencing, making, and implementing federal policy. Um, and everyone, I think, agrees that data analysis, privacy, uh, reimbursement, and care delivery are really like the biggest, hairiest um, challenges um, that, that have to be solved in order to drive digital health adoption. And again, the purpose of the book, and, and we really want the book to be used as like a book club uh, by executive teams, um, is that you really have to have that team-wide cross-disciplinary creative uh, leadership, and, and you really need to get that expert experience input um, to solve for these hairy challenges of privacy, um, you know, reimbursement, care delivery, um, reimbursement, and implementation. Okay. And, and speaking of challenges, um, given everything going on in the world now, uh, so much of what we hear is, um, you know, related to health tech is about cybersecurity. Um, I know that's also something that you tackle in your book. If you want to kind of shed some light on that. Yeah, we were super fortunate also to get a lot of help from top CISOs in the industry. Uh, so Mitch Parker, who is Chief Information Security Officer at Indiana University and mentor to many in the industry, uh, wrote chapter 11 on how to really partner with clinicians really to best assess and address risks of bringing mobile devices and mobile apps into a clinical environment. And it really um, includes the use of personally owned devices uh, with clinical apps um, and, and then the chapter also provides an overview of the history of mobile devices, uh, what what makes what 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 introduces risks, what to look out for, um, and provides methods um, so that organizations, healthcare organizations, can assess and address those um, to better ensure security um, in their environments. Because you know, healthcare organizations haven't historically uh, been really good at or known how to assess or address risks presented by mobile devices and, and the risk profile, which is very, very different and, and a larger attack surface um, than desktop uh, you know, web cloud apps uh, like the electronic medical record, right? And then also our uh, Metagram CTO, Eric Svetkov, um, worked with co-authors Allison Taylor and Matt Perez um, to share proven project management and security frameworks uh, really to implement mobile medicine successfully. So we, we were very fortunate to have a lot of deep um, security uh, technical expertise amongst our 27 co-authors. Okay, uh, we have a couple of minutes left. So I guess, Sherry, I'd like to ask you, um, what would be the last um, thing that you'd like to impart to our audience as far as mobile medicine and um, adopting health tech, particularly given everything that you've written and everything that you've worked on um, in your role at Metagram? 
the one thing that I really want to emphasize uh, to that great question, Rachel, is that teamwork is really what makes dream, dreams work, right? And, and that the way that we uh, work together as organizations, um, as partnerships, as an industry, uh, really needs to emphasize, um, you know, people, culture, and governance, and, and the even if you, you know, with the best cutting edge technology, you know, you can you really plan to fail um, unless you really plan uh, the rest of these parts. And that's really the new frontier, I think, that, that we all need to look to tackle together in order to bring uh, the support that the healthcare workforce really needs. They really need our support. Uh, you know, they, they desperately need enablement um, and scale of the work that they do. And so that's my takeaway. Great advice. Thank you so much, Sherry. Um, and it doesn't look like we have any other questions. Um, so I guess, um, I thank you. Thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Did okay. we give all the books away? I yes, believe we, we, I believe okay. we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank congratulations you. to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, thank you very much, Sherry. And thank you, Rachel Fredman for turning Thank you. Thank you. And so that we are uh, really, really grateful for such a terrific uh, group of executive entrepreneurs, authors, and, uh, and, and just the, the, the folks that joined from all over the world to uh, be a part of the program today, and especially the audience. I, you know, I think one of the things that we really do have nicely here is the audience that is so participatory, chats, LinkedIn's uh, ideas, and certainly reflections and questions about what's going on. So um, one of the things that we do need to remind you all about is that we do have an extraordinary opportunity for you all to take the, uh, to be involved in the Breakthrough Alliance and, uh, and the challenge that the Breakthrough Alliance has every semester. So please do, if you are a startup or if you know a startup and, uh, or even a digital health company that's beyond startup phase and uh, early commercial uh, this is an opportunity to put your name and, and get to know some of the leading stakeholders in the world, whether it's in the United States or Europe or around Asia and Africa, Latin America. Uh, these are the stakeholders that are all a part of the Breakthrough Alliance, uh, hundreds of people all over the globe. And we will help uh, not only through evidence-based testing, but also through the, uh, the connectivity that the lab has with over 300,000 folks around the world. Uh, so do apply. Remember that the application deadline is May 17th at midnight and applications open. Go to the Hit Lab website to see more on this. Next up, we have uh, AI and data science in healthcare, uh, the uh, program that I run at Columbia University. Get your certification from Columbia University. And uh, you have, again, as a part of the Hit Lab community and a part of this session, an opportunity to enroll at a 90% uh, discount. So again, the discount code uh, is um, on the next slide, I believe. And Jerry will pop that up in a moment. And uh, if not, just email me directly either through uh, my email at Columbia SWA 16 at GSB Graduate School of Business dot Columbia dot edu or message me through LinkedIn for the discount code, effectively reducing your enrollment from uh, $5,000 to $499, a, a discount that is uh, just phenomenal. There's already over 50 people in the program, uh, including executives from Kaiser uh, Health Plans and from uh, Beijing uh, Pharmaceuticals, Johnson & Johnson Pharmaceuticals, Montefiore Health System, uh, Columbia Medical Center Health System, and other major health plans and health systems and life science companies around the world. And then most importantly, without these support, the support from these people, this program would not have been possible. So thank you, Metadata, Live Care, certainly the ACHA uh, and AARP Innovation Labs, the Merck Global Innovation Fund and Goodwin, uh, our partners here have been tremendous. And then our sponsors, both TrueTag and Vicert, in terms of the people that are really making a difference in the healthcare ecosystem from the digital health uh, technology standpoint. And uh, just remember that this session today, health tech adoption was absolutely critical in making sure that you all have the lessons learned in what we're doing going forward in the future. If you want to sign up for the May Symposium, drop a, a, a yes in the chat box right now and we'll grab the chat 
and auto enroll you in the May Symposium. Uh, and if you're also interested in the Columbia uh, program and you'd like to get the discount code there, remember to email me or just type in Columbia in the chat box and we'll get you more information in the Columbia program and enrolled at the 499 rate as well. And again, that's the next two weeks from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. live online. Uh, and you end up with a nice Columbia certificate in AI and data science and healthcare. Thank you, everybody. And special thanks to Jerry Antamato, the captain of the ship for these symposia that you are all watching on a monthly basis. And thank you, Rachel Fredman, the captain of the marketing and communications ship uh, for all of the good work that she does in getting the word out about the program and really appreciate uh, Kevin and Slav and Jess and Raymond and all the other team members who have to work so hard in putting these together each month. It is really a, uh, a work of passion and uh, we can't thank everyone enough for helping out with that. In the meantime, have a great afternoon, evening, morning, depending on where you are and please do stay safe. Take care, everybody.